National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is getting ready to launch a new weather satellite into space. Next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso takes a look at the tech on board and how it will help forecasters. It's the latest and greatest in weather satellite technology. Goes U is ready for launch to its new home, more than 22,000 miles from Earth. On board, the advanced imager, keeping an HD eye on the atmosphere and ocean as often as every 30 seconds. The early detection is everything and having the instrumentation and especially the rapid scan to be able to have information quickly uh, because we have something that is such a challenge called rapid intensification where a, a hurricane, just a, a band of clouds become a strong system so quickly. That'll help not just with hurricanes, but severe thunderstorms, flooding downpours, fog and even fires thanks to the Lightning Mapper, which is also a part of the package. Lightning detection is a key to some of our early warnings for the, the fire weather community. So a lightning strike in, in a dry area in a time of the year that could cause a fire, that's an indicator to us that, that there could be a potential fire starter. GOES-U will eventually be named GOES-19 once operational and replace GOES-16, currently watching over the eastern U.S. and Atlantic. When it does, it'll even be able to help detect incoming solar storms with its newest instrument, the Compact Corona Graph, that will keep a constant eye on the sun's surface. It's very important for us to measure space weather effects and be able to model and provide warnings, forecasts, and alerts uh, for space weather uh, to protect our technological society. NOAA says GOES-19 will operate well into the 2030s until the next generation of satellites are ready to take over. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. Uh, the launch is scheduled for next Tuesday. Scientists say it'll probably take a couple of weeks for that satellite to get up and running after it reaches orbit.